please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. Welcome traders to this week's analysis of gold. My name is Vic. Thanks for joining me here. On gold, what we see that um, the market shot up uh, last year and then started to correct sideways. It is tilting downwards, but it is still consolidating here. And that also shows that, you know, we have kind of like in a channel running. Okay. So this is the thing that we are looking at. So you may consider this as a flag pattern or whatever, or you can consider this as a simple channel and the midpoint runs near about there. Okay. So that's why the market actually came here and started to go back up. But we also need to uh, focus on another thing, which is that market may be creating an M pattern here. And that M pattern actually can actually push the price down to near about this level, which is 1700 or 1680. Um, in extreme cases, it could be forming a bigger M pattern, which can push the price to near about 1600 or so where we have this level. Okay, so that is a possibility on um, um, bearish possibility on gold. Um, however, on the monthly time frame, on um, multi multi month time frame, yearly time frame, well, this is what we see. It is bullish um, right now, but it is struggling with this level, uh, which is the previous level, and we have this W pattern here, um, which is more evident. If I go to the monthly time frame, and that looks like this. Okay. And once a W pattern has formed or and completed, we are expecting market to fall down and that's what has happened and it can fall down further to this level which is going to be near about 1700. Okay, That's a possibility and the reason behind that is because we also have Fib ratios uh, lining up with 1700 or 1680 level or so. Uh, for now, if I just look at, if I just um, draw your attention to what has been happening. The market fell down, it was supported by this moving average, went up, and now it is trying to come back down. Why? Because it is like, you know, bearish and it is still, it has that, like, you know, the bearish uh, tendency still is still left because of that W pattern that we just saw. It can still come back down to this level of 1680. That is a possibility. Okay. If I go to the weekly time frame, it is simply consolidating to the sideways, as we saw. And last week we were able to take very good trade here because the market is consolidating, which means that we have several WNM patterns, several FCP patterns which are forming. Okay, so if you're not able to spot them, here is what we have. So we have this W pattern, that's why it fell down. And we also had a W pattern here, and we were able to take very nice short trade from here. And then we also have this W pattern forming which is probably going to push the price back into 1900 or so okay we'll see that in a second but on the lower time frame we were able to uh, find very good trade on four hour time frame right here market was coming into this moving average clusters which was obviously going to like you know show its effect uh, first of all we were actually long from here we were looking for a short position based on like you know, the um, based on the confirmation on this level. If I bring in uh, the analysis, you will see what I mean. So I said, if this uh, breaks and confirms, then we are looking for a uh, short trade here, which never happened. The market, in fact, it started to go back up. A lot of you actually started to take this trade. Uh, one of my students also actually took this trade, which was very good. And he uh, still held it like, you know, when it reached there, okay. but. When the market reached this, these uh, moving averages, uh, we already were aware that, you know, there were three targets that we were monitoring. In our Telegram group, um, I mentioned there were three targets that we were looking at and all of those three targets were met and they came from what I envisage. And these are those three targets. So I um, gave them this one, which was um, what? 19, 1853. Then we had this target 1863 and then we had this target which was indicated by Vata which was um, 1872 or 1873 right all of these three targets were met after seeing this signal which was the bullish signal the market was green blue signal is good so that's what has happened but you see the overall the market trend is still down so we are expecting this um, bear signal to work out as well and that's what 
we were able to take the trade on so who uh, people who were in, in who are there in our group and who were able to take this trade congratulations to all of you uh, you made money on this but right now what's happening now is if I just change this to if I just clean it up the color is changing of the water curve which is a very good sign if you are looking for a bullish moment it is not confirmed yet because so far nothing is supporting it on the water curve and water wave but the color is changing as you can see this is turning into this is turning blue right now it is going from red to blue which shows that market may actually start to go back up on four hour time frame however if we go to the daily time frame we are already bullish here the color has already changed this has already changed and uh, the market may be forming a w pattern here that is a possibility here so if we go back and see what kind of um, w pattern could be forming for that we need to just clean this up and start again let's quickly see these levels let's go to the monthly time frame and draw the important levels So these are monthly levels that we have got um, and uh, let's look at the weekly on weekly time frame we have this level and let's draw a zone here I oh, sorry draw the Fibonacci here yep looking good uh, we also have this here. let's go to the daily time frame on daily time frame we have this level here okay then we have one level which is 1920 Eight. okay and now let's look at the Fibonacci so what we see here is that we have this W pattern this is potential W pattern I'm not saying that it will it is going to actually work out uh, but this is a potential W pattern and what we have it is this is the midpoint of it so the point is that if it starts to move from here if this midpoint is broken okay we are looking for the market to move to this level let me just change the color of it but before that it will have to go through some of these important levels so this is a possibility we are already here we have already touched this level of 1837 so if it starts to go up then it can keep on moving upwards following like you know in steps so you need to follow each level in step because at each of these levels the market may actually go back down it can reverse completely so treat these um, levels as support and resistance level and uh, this is a very important FCP zone okay and uh, what else um, yeah let me just clean this up a little bit and then see Yes, another thing um, that we must draw, which we drew in the previous analysis, was this sort of channel here, which was is going to be like this, and then now we have another one here, 
and we also have this okay so if we go back to our daily time frame okay um, this is also an important level okay on the bearish side the market may if the market actually falls through this zone if we get a confirmation remember we can actually look for a downward move and if that happens then we are looking at this level here and then we have NFCP zone. Remember, no matter what gold is doing, it is it can still be bearish because it has, um, based on the technical analysis, it, it still has that potential to fall down to 1618, um, 1680 level or so. Okay, so I'm just going to remove, clean this up a little bit. So this, these are the levels that you have. I'll post this chart in the group. Um, if you're not in the group, you're most welcome to join that. It's a free group that we have. Okay. So these are the important levels. Um, what else? Uh, let's look at uh, even lower time frame just to give you a better idea. Okay. Right now, the, uh, this is the one that we actually took last week the market was creating an M pattern and I said if this level the midpoint is broken which is this one let me change the color of it this is a uh, little lighter so if this midpoint is broken then we were looking for the market to go down and from here we were able to take long trade in our students area we were able to play both sides of it um, so now right now it has come back to retest that level that midpoint so the chances are that it can fall down okay so that's what we have so these are the levels that i will give to you let's look at on water and visage once again so if i go to the one hour time frame on one hour time frame this is bullish this is bullish and the market can come to 1861 or 1862 near about that level where the water curve is so near about this um, 1860 or so that is a possibility on the short term so this is my analysis on gold hope you enjoyed this hope you found this useful if you did you know what to do subscribe to this channel and make sure that you hit the like button in the comment section let me know what do you think about this analysis and what is your opinion on it and um, feel free to join our telegram group and um, if you are interested in training then go and check out the description of this video you should find information on that as well if you are interested in learning how to analyze the markets the way i do using fibonacci confluence then head over to vikinsa.com and under training section you'll be able to see core strategy training program on this page you will be able to see the testimonials of previous students and also uh, look at the brochure the brochure has a lot more information including the course structure and the fibonacci confluence training program curriculum this is a very extensive program in which we cover basic core fibonacci concepts along with the advanced concepts to analyze the markets with high probability if you're interested in joining this program come to vacancer.com and under training section you'll be able to see and submit this form